Hello, and welcome to today's lesson. Our focus for today's lesson is decoding and spelling review. Materials. The materials that you will need for today's lesson include a piece of paper and a pencil. We have three learning targets for today's lesson. The first learning target says, I can write the letters for each sound I hear in CVC words. The second learning target says, I can spell VC and CVC words from cycle 19. The third learning target says, I can read VC, CVC, and high frequency words. Transition song. Now it's time to listen, to listen, to listen. Now it's time to listen for each sound in some words. We hear sounds to spell sounds and then we can read words. It's time to say some words now in segment each word. Word work. Today we're going to see how stretching out words and listening for each sound can also help us to become better spellers. The first word we're going to look at is thud. Say it with me. Thud. Listen closely as I stretch the word out. Uh, d. Now you try it. Uh, d. How many sounds does thud have? Three sounds. Now that we know that, we can figure out which letters to use for each sound. The sounds are D. To start, which letter makes the th sound in thud? Yes, T and H work together to make the th sound. There are two letters, but they only make one sound. So we put both letters in one box. The second sound we hear in thud is uh. What letter makes the uh sound? If you thought uh is spelled with the letter U, you're right. So we put that letter in the middle box. The final sound is D. What letter makes the D sound? If you thought D, you are correct. So we place that in the last box. Let's do another word, lash. Say it with me, lash. Listen as I stretch the word out. L-a-sh. Now you try. L-a-sh. How many sounds does lash have? There are three sounds. Now that we know that, we can figure out which letters to use for each sound and spell the word correctly. The sounds are L-A-S-H, L-A-S-H. 
Hmm. What letter makes the ooh sound? The letter L, right. And so we put that letter in the first box. What middle sound do you hear in the word lash? Right, the A ah sound. And we spell the A ah sound with the letter A. So we place that in the middle box. What final sound do you hear in lash? Right, the final sound is shh. What makes the shh sound? If you thought S-H, you are right. S and H work together to make the sh sound. So we put them together in one box. Fluency. Let's show off what we have learned. Some words are gonna pop up on the screen and I want you to read any of them that you can. Ready? This word is bed. This word is log. This word is In. This word is at. This word is chop. And this word is drum. Writing. Grab your pencil and paper. We are going to do a spelling review. I'll say a word and a sentence with the word in it. Then you'll write the word down the best that you can. Are you ready? The first word is red. The apple is red. Write down red. Check your work. Did you get it? Let's do another one. The next word is hop. I saw the bunny hop into its hutch. Write hop on your paper. Did you get it? Let's do another one. The next word is dig. The man will dig the hole. Write down hole. All right, did you get it? Let's 
let's do one more. The last word is bath. She gave her dog a bath. Go ahead and write down bath. Did you get it? Did you spell it correctly? If you spelled any words incorrectly, think about what you missed. Was it a vowel sound? A digraph like TH? Think about what was difficult so we can work on that. Closing reflection. Today we review the skills we've been working on throughout the cycle, including CVC words, blending, and separating sounds to read and write, and reviewing high-frequency words. Do you have an idea of what you would want to work on from this cycle? You did a great job this cycle. See you soon for cycle 20. Bye.